Hello everybody, this is Cyrus here, back with another video. Um, it's been a while since um, I've done a video on like an older vehicle, so we'll take a look at that. So I purchased this off of Kijiji. It's a 1921 Ford Model T made by Matchbox. Normally these are something you would find in their yesteryear line, uh, as their yesteryear line did continue into the 1980s, and even after Matchbox had transformed their line. So we'll get this guy cracked open. Um, they have versions of these on eBay that are being sold in the bag, that, um, and they're in better condition. This one's not in bad condition, but the bag isn't exactly the best. And there's some uh, grime and debris in the bag, so really, I'm really not too sure about um, keeping this in the bag otherwise. And you can totally see it's kind of gotten a little bit on there, so I'm going to quickly clean this up. There we go, that's a little bit cleaner now. So yeah, it's um, uh, otherwise if the bag was in better condition, I definitely would have kept it in the um, uh, bag, but it's all chalky, it's all debris um, filled. I'll start up my turntable so you can get a better look at it. If I can get it working. There we go. One more notch. All right. So they did have, um, they do have versions of these um, at certain places. So they sometimes are normally um, common to find, some often in good condition. I just realized there's something on the side, more debris I need to clean off the side. It's also mostly metal, there being a plastic base, but it's got some weight to it, if you were to feel this. I know that some collectors do arcane on older cars. Some of the earlier ones, they don't really collect too much, but um, there are collectors out there who arcane on them, um, including me. It's just kind of some people are more keen on kind of the cars that are in between from like maybe the 30s and 40s when it came to cars that had this more um, vintage style front. Also, I believe if I'm not mistaken, this is one of those toys you would have to get in a cereal uh, box. Uh, maybe you might be familiar with those back in the olden days. I was born around the um, mid 2000 well, not really mid-2000s, 2005, so by that point, they would have stopped doing that. Um, so, of course, you know, I didn't grow up with this kind of um, stuff where you'd have the toy in the cereal box, but... Yeah, it is worth noting. On the side, it says, Kellogg's Corn Pops, TM... This also uses a specific type of wheel. It's not like the yesteryear wheels where it's two separate pieces, because again, this is part of their basic range. And you do actually have a molded in vent right there on the um, side of the hood. Also one nice deal, detail I really like if I zoom in and straighten this up a little bit. If we look towards the front of the van, you can see that there's a little hood ornament, which I do quite like. Also, if I hold this still for a second, I believe it says Ford. It's hard to tell, but I think I can see Ford on the grill there. Just right above the grill, but underneath that hood ornament. So, all in all, this is a pretty, um, um, this is a pretty good, uh, piece in my opinion. Uh, definitely if I find extras of this at, like, flea markets and stuff, I will try and see if I can get my hands on this. Is like I pointed out earlier, I am caned on some of these older cars. So that just about wraps it up for this video. I don't have a whole lot to say. 
So I'll see you guys in some more videos very soon. Have a good safe rest of your day, guys. Bye.